Direct Tech Family, Chef Greg with you today. Today we're doing crab stuffed lobsters. So the first step in this is we're gonna make a delicious crab filling. And this is my recipe for crab cakes. So if you don't wanna go through the step of the lobsters, again, you can follow this and make some delicious crab cakes. So I've got a pan here nice and warm. I'm gonna go ahead and get in about a half a stick of butter or so. Now we've got two pounds of crab. So I'm gonna add in about a half an onion. about a half a cup of celery, some Old Bay seasoning, and I probably want to add about a teaspoon or so, and a couple grinds of fresh ground black pepper. Fantastic. Now we've went ahead and picked through this crab, and there is no shell in here. Okay, so make sure even though it says there's no shell, go through those with, uh, with your hands and make sure you don't feel any, uh, any shells. The worst thing about eating crab cakes is getting a piece of shell. So take that extra five minutes and, and hunt through there and make sure that there's no shells there. Okay, so this will take about five, six minutes or so. Um, wait till those onion and celery get nice and tender. All right, so our celery and onion are good and tender. We'll go ahead and add that into our two pounds of crab. Now, you paid for nice lump crab. Don't go breaking it up. So when you mix it, kind of fold it over top of itself, and that way you get nice big chunks of, of crab. So for every pound of crab, I use two eggs. Okay, one, two. We'll add about a, a quarter cup of mayonnaise. Now this crab was nice and moist, so I don't need an awful lot of mayonnaise, but that mayonnaise does a great job at binding that crab cake together. Okay, so we'll just kind of mix it up, give it a couple folds. It's looking great. We've got some fresh parsley here. It's about a tablespoon. And again, the breadcrumbs, we're going to add just a touch of breadcrumb, and that's going to help bind it together. But depending on how moist your crab mixture is, it really determines how much breadcrumb you're going to add. So I'm going to start with probably about a quarter of a cup. And I think that should do us pretty good. Just a hair more. And again, we want these to be crab cakes, not bread cakes. So. Take it easy on the breadcrumbs. Now this is looking great. So if I go ahead and pull some out, I can shape these into crab cakes. And then we can sear these on the flat side of the sear kit for about eight to 12 minutes. And that right there is a delicious crab cake. But we're taking it one step further. Let me go get the lobsters. All right, so my three friends are with me now. Now these lobsters are alive. You cannot cook a dead lobster, okay? So when they come to you, they might be really good and cold. Um, again, they're alive, right? So we're gonna treat these as humanely as possible. So rec tech disclaimer, if you're squeamish, go ahead and fast forward about 45 seconds from now. So dispatch your lobster, super easy. You can put these guys in the freezer, let them get good and cold, they'll kind of stop moving. But right on the top of their forehead, you'll see a line. You want to go about an inch and a half back behind that line. Take a very sharp knife right through its head, straight down and forward. That lobster is now dead. Okay. It might move. Just think of it like the cockroach of the sea. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and split these entirely in half. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop out kind of all of, move this around here for you, all of the, uh, the tamale, some of that other internal stuff that we do not want to eat, okay? And to also make it cook a little more even, I'm gonna take that claw, kind of crack it a little bit, and that'll give us a chance to get some good heat in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish Scooping these out.
All right, so we have our lobsters halved and good and cleaned out. We're going to go ahead and take our crab mixture, okay? And we'll probably grab about five to six ounces. And what we're going to do is we're going to pack this cavity with that crab filling, okay? And don't overstuff it because we don't want it to fall out. And we want it to cook nice and even because it'll take about 15 minutes on the, on the rec tech. We want to make sure that our crab mixture is uh, good and hot on the inside, and again, good and cooked, because we do have some, some egg in there, okay? So, go ahead and fill these up. And as this lobster cooks, some nice juices is gonna come out and really make that super flavorful. Now to really take it a couple notches up, we got some melted butter here. We're going to pour some melted butter over the top. Fantastic. And we're going to give a couple cracks of fresh ground pepper. We have our rec tech set at 350 degrees. We're going to go ahead and get these on for about 15, 20 minutes. So here we have it. We have our stuffed lobster. It looks amazing. Make sure, now this crock I have is, is hot. Have some drawn butter on this side, a little squeeze of fresh lemon juice. So yeah, this looks tasty. Cut that off. Mm. Beautiful Maine lobster. Mm. Try that crab stuffing. It's really hot. That's on point. Pick up some lobsters, grab some cra crab, make a beautiful main stuffed lobster. Have a lobster extravaganza in your backyard. We'll see you later.